Okay, so once again, uh, good morning everyone. Uh, an emergence of educators for Industry 5.0, uh, there are some an, uh, in the logical perspective no, when it comes to the Industry 5.0. The, the world is uh, witnessing a great tide of change, no? transformation, digitalizations, and uh, uh, that maybe that is uh, influencing the society in various aspects, including public administration, industrial structure, employment, and privacy of an individual. So the transformations taking place will cause a societal shift from society version 4.0 to 5.0. Talk about industry 5.0 is future. Closer cooperation between man and machine. No? Havandi no, emphasized that Industry 5.0 will be a synergy between humans and autonomous machines. No? Enhancing Industry 4.0 traits, society 5.0 uh, would be a super smart society equipped with problem solving and value creation ideology. Diverse ability, decentralization, resilience, and even sustainable development. So, Society 5.0 is the imagination society where industrialization will be core, no factor of transformation will emerge with the concept of Industry 5.0, causing uh, industrial revolution that will be further uh, empowered by Education 5.0 in turn, generating the high definition uh, educators 5.0. So. Tracing back no, the industry revolution, no, again, the origin of human beings from human uh, hunter-gatherer society no, that was evolved into agra agrarian society no, that were primarily dependent on agriculture no, society, which was further advanced into the industrial society. And that is 3.0. From where the series of industrial revolution came into existence, the first industrial revolution that is way back 1980s, no? the Industry 1.0. It introduced uh, mechanization from steam, water, and fossil fuels. The second industrial revolution of the 1870s or the Industry 4.0 was focused on electrical energy that favored mass production, which was proceeded by the third industrial revolution in 1970s no where it is introduced new horizon of advancement like automation information technology electronics and it system which lead no to the emerge of information technology society so the fourth industrial uh, industrial revolution no which further expand the information society is also known as hyper connectivity revolution as it provides a real-time interface between the virtual and physical world called cyber physical system and other technologies like IoT, no? IOE, although the Internet of Things or Internet of Everything, Big Data, AI. No? Although Industry 4.0 is not yet well-grown, the world is looking forward to the next industrial transformation, automation, manufacturing with human intelligence, which will in turn lead to the emergence of super smart society. Okay? So uh, before that, I just want to share with you the video presentation, one of my presenter no, actually in uh, about uh, Industry 4.0 before we move forward to 5.0. Because uh, we started actually here in the Philippines, the Industry 4.0 and Education 4.0. But in other countries, they are uh, eyeing and they are now discussing about the Industry 5.0. Okay, so this is the design and implementation. No? So let's start to uh, enumerate 
yung mga topics na i-discuss po natin. Okay? So number one is what is industry revolution. Uh, number two is what is industry 4.0. And then syempre is what are the key technologies in the industry 4.0. Okay? So let's, about, uh, let's talk about what is industry 4.0. So, Industry 4.0, it is a new industrial model that characterizes the fourth industrial revolution. This advanced manufacturing model is represented by the following intelligent, virtual, and then digital performances. So, these large scale technologies that emerge as disruption to the Industrial Revolution 1.0 that occurred before. The new industrial model itself includes, uh, includes a factory-wide integrated structure and potential technologies in various areas of industry activity. And, this, and these technologies are the in, intrinsic to Industry 4.0 design principle, which are also responsible for ensuring the innovative performance of this new industry. So let's uh, look back with the historical evolution of industry or evolu uh, industrial evolution. So in this illust uh, illustration, uh, Industry 1.0 is about mechanization and, the uh, and then uh, introduction of steam and water power. Industry 2.0 is about mass production, assembly lines, assembly lines using electric electrical power. Uh, industrial industrial uh, 3.0 is automated production, computer sys computers, IT systems, and robotics. Industry 1.0 is the smart factory, autonomous systems, IoT, and then mga machine, learning, ma machine learnings. So, uh, source. So, dito nyo po makikita itong uh, image na to. So, pag sinabi natin, uh, first industrial revolution, it began in the 18th century through the use of steam power and mechanization production. What before produced threads on a single spinning wheels, the mechanized version achieved eight times the volume in the same time. Steam, uh, steam power was already, already known. The use of it for industrial purposes was the greatest breakthrough for increasing human productivity. Instead of waving looms powered by muscle, steam engines could be used for power. Developments such as, uh, as the ste steamship or uh, some years later, the steam-powered locomotive brought about further machine changes because humans and goods could move great distance in a few hours. So, pag sinabi naman natin Industrial Revolution 2.0, began in the 19th century, uh, 19th century through the discovery of electricity and assembly line production. Henry Ford, from 1863 to 1947, took the idea of mass production from slaughterhouse in Chicago. The pigs hung from conveyor belts and each butcher, uh, butcher performed only a part of the task of butchering the animal. And these principles in automobile production and drastically altered in the process. While before, one station assembled an entire automobile, now the vehicles were produced in partial steps on the conveyor belt, significantly faster and at lower cost. Okay? When it comes to industrial revolution, it began in the 70s, in the 20th century, through partial automation using memory programmable controls, and computers. Since the production of these technologies, we are now able to automate an entire production process without human assistance. Known example of this are robots that perform program sequence without human intervention or interaction. And then uh, Industrial 4.0, this is characterized by the application of information and communication technologies, to industry, it builds the develop of the third uh, industrial revolution. Production systems that al uh, that already have computer technology are expanded by a network connection and have a digital twin on the internet, so to speak. Example include is machines which can predict failures and trigger maintenance processes autonomously or self-organized logistics which react to unexpected changes in production. 
So let's about uh, let's talk about the key technologies in the industry 4.0. So number one is IoT or Internet of Things. Next is advanced robotics. Next is artificial intelligence. Next is cloud computing, virtual re reality, big data analytics, and then addictive manufacturing, augmented reality, <coughs> and this is all. So this is all the te uh, key technologies in the industry 4.0. So let's talk about uh, IoT or Internet of Things. No? So what is Internet of Things? No? Internet of Things, it is a network of physical objects that are able to collect data with help of sensors and exchange data, each, uh, each exchange data to each other with help of internet. So best example natin ng IO, IoT or Internet of Things is yung mga uh, smartwatch, uh, smartwatch natin. No? So for example, uh, yung smartwatch, uh, smartwatch natin is na-detect na tumataas yung uh, inyong heartbeat, and then possible na magkaroon ka ng heart attack, okay? automatic magsisend smartwatch, smartwatch doon sa inyong uh, phone na nagkakaroon kayo ng uh, problem sa health nyo. And then, automatic, yung ating mga cellphone o smartphone devices is pwedeng kumontak agad doon sa mga hospital, no? Since meron tayong emergency call na tinatawag siya, okay? So, yun po yung mga sample natin ng uh, Internet of Things, no? Another example is Smart TV, okay? So, sa Smart TV, if you want to watch uh, Netflix or to browse to your Smart TV uh, devices, you just need Wi-Fi or Internet and then makakapanood ka na agad doon, okay? Another example is yung mga web cameras natin. Okay? So yung mga web cameras or CCTVs natin, hindi na natin kailangan ng uh, LAN cable na mahaba. No? Uh, ngayon, pwede na natin siya ikabit sa pinaka uh, power ng bulb. No? bulb And then pwede na natin siya i-connect through our Wi-Fi connection. Okay? Next is advanced robotics. No? So ito po yung sample natin ng advanced robotics. Pag sinabi natin uh, advanced robotics, Robots are programmable machines that are usually to, uh, usually able to carry out series of actions autonomously or self uh, or semi-autonomously. Robotics is a branch of technology that deals with physical robots, no? So ito mga advanced robotics na to, uh, ginagamit din to for manufacturing, no? Uh, so for example, gusto mong i-automate yung uh, uh, irrigation mo sa farm, no? hindi mo na kailangan uh, magdilig doon, automatic uh, yung system mo is mag, uh, magdidilig na para sa'yo. Okay? Another example, uh, sa mga factories. Okay? Sa mga factories, hindi na usually uh, gumagamit nung, yung hand-to-hand. -hand, okay? So, pwede na yung, ano, eh, uh, yung automatic paglabas, buo na agad yung uh, item. Okay? Hindi mo na kailangan uh, kamayin pa siya and then pwede mo na siya agad uh, i-package or ipadala na dun sa mga store. Okay? So marami naman mga robots na programmable machines. No? Uh, actually, uh, computer can be considered as robots. No? Uh, ito kasi mga robots na to is pwede na natin lagyan ng ano, uh, chip and then syempre mapapagana na natin sila. Okay? Next, uh, artificial intelligence. No? So sa artificial intelligence or AI na tinatawag natin, so ang pinaka-best example natin ng artificial intelligence is si Siri. No? So si Siri, ang ginagamit natin for iOS, no? iOS device, and then kung naka-Windows ka naman, syempre, uh, pwede mong gamitin si Cortana. And kay, kung may budget naman tayo, syempre pwede tayong bumili ng uh, uh, Alexa kay Amazon. And then Google, uh, Google phones, is meron tayong Hey Google, no? Na artificial intelligence. So itong mga artificial intelligence is 
ginagamit to para mas mabilis tayo makapag-search ng data or information through the internet. no So, hold mo lang yung power button mo dyan. Sabihin mo lang kung ano yung gusto mong information uh, or word. Sabihin mo lang sa kanya. And then, automatic na nilang hahanapin yung information na yon para sa'yo. Okay? So, to make it you, uh, to make it uh, understand, AI is a computer program which enables a machine to simulate behavior like learning, planning, reasoning, knowledge sharing, and problem, uh, problem solving, etc. Okay? So, yun yung mga uh, kayang gawin ng mga artificial intelligence natin ngayon. Okay? So, kasi ngayon, uh, si Siri, uh, yung mga uh, ginagamit natin devices, yun po yung lagi natin naiisip eh. Okay? So, marami pa pong artificial intelligence, no? Kahit yung mga uh, websites is meron ng ano eh. Uh, meron ng artificial intelligence, no? Like kay Shopee, meron po dog image processing tool na katulad po ng artificial intelligence. Kuha ka lang ng image sa internet, scan mo kay Shopee, and then automatic hahanapin ni Shopee dun sa database niya yung, uh, yung information about sa image na nilagay mo. And then, syempre, malalaman mo din doon yung uh, presyo ng product na yon. Isa po yun sa mga sample din po ng artificial intelligence. Next is uh, cloud computing. No? So, cloud computing is ito po yung uh, pag-store natin ng data sa uh, cloud or sa internet. No? So, another term ng cloud computing, no? kung mayroon kang kilala mga IT services dito sa Pinas, ang tawag nila dyan is collocations. Okay? So yung mga collocations na yan is sila yung nag-offer ng cloud computing. No? So hindi mo na kailangan mag-set up ng traditional network infrastructure. So hindi mo na kailangan mag-set up ng traditional infrastructure para lang magkaroon ka ng local area network and then syempre ng server management. Okay? Pwede ka lang kumuha sa isang IT service, babayaran mo lang sila monthly or yearly and then makakagamit ka na nila makakagamit ka na ng mga services nila so same lang din yon as cloud computing no since kasi uh, lahat ng data or information natin or files is ini-save natin sa isang uh, storage or sa isang server no okay? oh tama sa isang server or isang database Okay. So another example ng cloud computing is uh, mga Gmails, no? Mga Google Drives, One Look, and then uh, Dropbox can be considered as cloud computing. Okay. So pag sinabi natin cloud, uh, cloud computing, use of remote servers to store, manage, process data which can be accessed through the internet demand. Okay. Next, virtual reality. So pag sinabi natin virtual reality, no? So uh, it uh, it is the use of computer technology to create simulate uh, simulated environment, no? <coughs> okay. So eto mga sample natin ng virtual reality is ginagamit to sa mga hospital, eh. no? So for example, uh, gusto mong i-operate or surgery, surgery yung pasen, uh, pasyente mo, kailangan mo muna siya i-testing dun sa virtual reality simulated niya o simulation, no? Para syempre, hindi ka magkamali once na inoperate mo na siya dun sa pasyente mo. Okay? Another example is uh, pag gumagawa ka ng mga game development na kailangan mo gumamit ng VR and then syempre, ikaw yung magsaset up nung uh, makikita mo dyan. Okay? So, anong difference ng virtual reality sa uh, uh, augmented reality no so pag virtual reality uh, ikaw yung <coughs> ikaw yung gumagawa ng mga simulated environment and then ang art augmented reality is naka-base doon sa uh, makikita ng camera or lente ng inyong uh, smartphone or computer no okay? so syempre Ah, uh, pag sabi natin virtual, hindi po 'yan totoo, pero sa augmented, actually pwede mo siyang i-set up. Okay. Next is, ito dito nga, augmented reality, no? Pwede mong i-set up 'yan. Uh, kung makikita mo dito sa illustration, makikita mo yung ilang items yung remaining, 
peak pipe and then syempre yung mga locations like uh, uh GPS and then ways no actually augmented reality yun. Okay. AR is a computer generated graphics on top of actual uh, reality. Okay. Next natin is big data analytics, no? So pag sinabi natin big data analytics, it as a process of store and examine large volume of data from various sources and systematically extract useful information. So best example natin for uh, big data analytics is Facebook. Since kasi si Facebook meron silang server doon kung saan naka-store ang inyong uh, data no parang uh, data warehousing yung tawag doon no okay? so doon po lahat ini-store yung information natin images uh, messages and others uh, other uh, information about sa yo and then once na kailangan natin yung data na yon uh, one click away lang is automatic makukuha na po natin agad doon sa platform na yan no okay? so syempre uh, Uh, marami naman example pa ng big data analytics no uh, Google can be considered as big data analytics no since kasi maraming connected na website sa kanya no maraming connected na website sa kanya and then syempre mas madali mong uh, makukuha yung mga information or sources doon sa kanyang platform Next is addictive manufacturing no So, pag sinabi natin uh, addict, uh, addictive manufacturing is a computer-controlled processes that create three-dimensional objects by di disposing materials, usually layers, and it's also known as 3D printers. Okay? So, at itong, ito, itong addictive manufacturing, ito po yung gumagawa ng mga 3D designs natin no? uh, para siyempre sa uh, paggagamitan po natin na, ano, na things. No. Next natin is what are the benefits of industry 4.0? So number one is productivity and efficiency. Number two is cost optimization. No. Then number three is new opportunities. Number four is customer satisfaction. And then syempre is yung safety ng ating uh, company. So uh, that's all. Uh, this is uh, uh, all. Okay, again, uh, industry 4.0, no? The only, the only thing constrained in this uh, world is change, no? So <clears throat> the human nature always try to find out a better solution for every pre-existing problems, no? Registering the revolutionary path, one can trace out of demanding, transforming, and acclimatizing no, nature of the human through which the industrial took place. Uh, uh, in the same context, no, uh, where digitalization has paved a new way for manufacturing, where factories are becoming more smarter and sophisticated with the help of technologies as what our presenter mentioned, no? IoT, automation, robotics, sensors, data science, data analytics, or advanced analytics actually, and artificial intelligence. Uh, this uh, advancement introduced some drawbacks like complex and expensive software, no? deployment challenges, security leaks, no? need a highly skilled professional, and main concern is that human are being replaced rather than being equipped. No? Now, the Industry 5.0 has become these hurdles by introducing a paradigm shift from digitalization of personalization where it will highlight the new concept, no? the human touch. And this revolution would solve the necessity for personalization, would stimulate and apply human intelligence in computers. Could, uh, that is what we call cognitive no? computing. So the crucial transformation that will emerge is that humans would be equipped and integrated with intelligent automation devices and system for better cooperation. No? Uh, and uh, of course, collaboration with the machines rather than being replaced. Kasi most commonly, maririnig natin, 
Naku, hindi kaya uh, five years from now, wala na akong job. And so on. No? Industry 5.0 will lead towards society 5.0 which will be a super smart society as I mentioned. This super smart society will from the advancement in the field of education causing a paradigm shift from corporate education to incorporate values in education by introducing the concept of education 5.0. The, the education 5.0 emerge or emergence highlights the skill like communications, leadership, and endurance curiosity, comprehension, critical and creative thinking. So to fulfill the objectives and motive of Industry 5.0, we need to enhance and empower common education with the high-definition uh, educators, cobots, no? yung collaborative robots, which in turn would enhance a personalization in Society 5.0 and make it a human-centered society. No? So in Japan, no? It defines uh, Industry 5.0 as Society 5.0. A human touch revolution. A human-centered society that balances economic advancement with the revolution and resolutions of social problems by a system that highly integrates actually cyberspace and physical space where digitalization would not make humans obsolete in the transformation process. Instead, it would help skilled workers and high highly skilled professionals to guide the smart machines and robots, establishing a cooperative and collaborative workspace integrated with the perfect combinations and interactions of cognitive computing and human intelligence. Because Industry 5.0 would bridge up the gap between robots and high-skilled workers to produce and deliver the best personalized service to the customers, as highlighted that Industry 5.0 will demand highly skilled professional in workforce to efficiently fulfill the goals and objective of the Society 5.0. Okay? So, I think that's it. Uh, I'll, I'll, as, uh, as an additional, no? Industry 5.0 will lead the process of manufacturing in production comparatively easier than before. It enriches with quality assurance in precise and timely deliverance that magnifies the readiness of product. Equally, the education scenario will be rebound no, through the equipped cognitive machines or cobots in Industry 5.0. So I think that's it. So to summarize this uh, discussion about education, uh, uh, Industry 5.0, Education 5.0, the super smart society or, uh, or society 5.0 will be the human centric society where the machines with cognitive excellence would work in cooperation and collaboration with humans. So for the development of the visionary society, there is an, a need of education 5.0 that would be executed and implemented by the education 5.0. The educators will be the cobots or the collaborative robots, which will be cheap with machines centric knowledge learn in human supremacy, train in human personalization, and master in qualitative deliverance based on the learner's need and capacity. And this highlight the paradigm shift from value of corporate education to incorporate values in education. So for, for the strong base of Industry 5.0, the Education 5.0 is must that would only be possible with the smart and high definition educators. The challenge for modern educator is either get prepared for this revolutionary change or take renunciation. Okay? So I think that's it for this topic.